69 million, we have 60, 70 million dollar plans. You mean you think it's cheaper to leave it there so they can have it than it is to fill it up with a half a tank of gas and fly it into Pakistan or fly it back to our country? You think, yes sir, we think it's cheaper, sir. That's when I realized he was a fucking idiot. <laughs> It's more expensive, sir, to take the equipment than to leave it. I said, really? He said, it's more expensive. And I never forgot that statement because that's probably the first time I realized that he was stupid. Former President Trump is never one to hold anything back, but this latest outburst is certainly one for the profanity books. Trump went on a tirade this weekend while speaking at an event for a branch of the conservative activist organization Turning Point USA. Yes, the organization made famous by everyone's favorite, Charlie Kirk. Trump went on a tangent about America's withdrawal from Afghanistan, and he told the crowd about a disagreement between himself and General Mark Miley regarding whether they should transport America's military year out of the country. Trump impersonated the general, mocking him for allegedly saying it was too expensive to get the equipment out of Afghanistan. This is part of a long-running Trump tactic of harping on the Afghanistan withdrawal, knowing that it was one of the few moments in Biden's presidency in which people from both sides of the aisle were furious over its handling. All of the destruction, our military in retreat, we've never had a military retreated before. What, I mean, why would you leave 83 or $85 billion worth of equipment? Gave an expression. I want every screw, every bolt, every nail. I want the tents that the equipment is have. I want everything. <laughs> Millie said to me one time, I'll never forget it, Sir, it's more expensive. It's more expensive, sir, to take the equipment than to leave it. I said, really? You mean you have a $10 million tank? You put it on a plane and that's more expensive than leaving it. But it is generally well known that senior U.S. military officials have linked the collapse of the Afghan government after the withdrawal and its security forces in August to Trump's 2020 deal with the Taliban. General Frank McKenzie, the head of Central Command, said that, quote, the signing of the Doha agreement had a really pernicious effect on the government of Afghanistan and on its military. He was referring to a February 2020 agreement that the Trump administration signed with the Taliban in Doha, Qatar, in which the U.S. promised to fully withdraw its troops by May of 2021. Trump also denies the fact that he himself made a deal to release 500 Taliban prisoners in an attempt to further muddy the waters of his large impact in the U.S.'s withdrawal from Afghanistan. Calling Miley an effing idiot may seem like an awesome takedown, but it also raises the question then as to why Trump appointed Miley in the first place and then never fired him or never expressed any displeasure in his performance before very recently, when he was no longer the president. Some would say that a boss who operates like that might be the idiot in this situation. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917